Hello, dear friends. Today, we are going to unpack and set up the FLTT laser marker. To unpack the FLTT laser marker, we need a pry bar or a powerful slotted screwdriver and a hammer. A knife for opening packages and films will also come in handy. Carefully open the top cover and set it aside. Inspect the contents of the box for obvious damage, if any. Take pictures and a video and send the materials to the supplier. Carefully take the machine out of the box. You will notice that the laser source housing is connected to the light path on which the blue scanner stands. Carefully remove the packaging and lay out the parts to make sure everything is there. The box's contents are table, rod, a stand with a screw, box with electronics, light path with a scanner. We open the box. It contains USB cable, power cable, glasses, monitor mount, key and USB flash drive, pedal, You can attach the stand to the working table in any position convenient for you. Use four screws to fix the stand and tighten the screws. The module at the bottom has four screws in slip nuts. Spread them apart and determine the position of the scanner. If you do not have any special needs for the position of the scanner, point it approximately to the center of the working area. Unscrew the slip nuts slightly and lock them into the slots in the light path. Pay attention to these bolts. They must go all the way into the slots to hold the module firmly in place. Connect the power cable to the machine and fix it with the threaded collar. Also, attach and fix the foot pedal and the USB cable. Connect the power cable to the socket. Remember that the machine must be connected through a voltage regulator and must be tied to ground. If you need to hang your computer monitor on the marker, there is a special mounting bracket and screws on the stand for that. Turn the key and press buttons on the machine case. The key is responsible for general machine power. The buttons separately turn on the controller and the laser source. Connect the USB cable from the machine to the computer and connect the flash drive to the computer. The machine is equipped with a stand with a millimeter scale. With this stand, you will raise and lower the scanner to set the focal length. You can fix on the scale the optimal height at which the focus will be on the surface of the material and adjust the distance by the thickness of the material being treated. Draw a small circle in EasyCAD and set the speed to 500 and the power to 100%. Check the box for continuous mode and put the metal under the scanner. Press red in the software to make sure that your circle is on the workpiece. Press mark and raise or lower the scanner until sparks appear. The position of the scanner with the brightest sparks and loudest sound is optimal.
Next, change the power to 10 to 15% and adjust the height a little according to the same principle. EasyCAD setting up. Open EasyCAD. As an example, 2.14.10 version is used. For the marker to operate properly with EasyCAD, first, open system parameter, workspace. Choose the size of your lens. If your lens is 200 by 200, then set it to 200 by 200. If it is 300 by 300, then you need to set it to 300 by 300. In these lines, we enter a negative half value. That is, if the lens is 300, then set it to negative 150 by negative 150. And if it is 200 by 200, enter negative 100 by negative 100. Press OK. The next option is field size. Enter the field size. If the lens is 200 by 200, then field size is 200. Leave offset at zero. Angle can be set up depending on how you want to rotate the engraving image. You can choose an angle of 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or 270 degrees. Next, there are two axes, X and Y. Galva 1 is set up as X. Scale is a very important parameter as it controls the scale of the resulting image. To adjust this, select Square. Draw a square on the workspace. Open the lock and enter, for example, 100 by 100. If the lens is 100 by 100, then draw a 75 by 75 square. Press Apply. Click Move to Center. Set up the focal length and press Mark. Next, return to Parameters, F3. Click Scale. Measure one side with a caliber. Write down what we wanted to get, 100, and what we actually got, for example, 110. Press OK and do the same with the second axis. Wanted to get 100, but the result was negative 110. It is possible to obtain different values on different axes, so pay attention to this. Press OK, again press Mark, and make sure that the sides meet the preset parameters. If the result has become worse, then you might have mixed up the X and Y axes. Repeat the setting up procedure, vice versa. Set up Galva Center. Move to Laser Control. Set Fiber and select the installed emitter type. If it is Max or Rakus, then we choose Rakus. For JPT, it is JPT. And if it is IPG, then depending on the emitter, it can be either YLP or YLPM, or IPG, YLPE. Check the model of your emitter. Raycus is the most common emitter. Depending on your emitter model, set up the frequency band. You can find this information either in the user manual of your emitter or in its technical specifications. Most often, it is 20 to 60 Hertz. The maximum frequency is 60 Hz, and the minimum, 20 Hz. Pedal Connection. To identify the correct port for a pedal, press View. Select I.O. State. Press the pedal several times and check which light comes on. The light 14 comes on, which means that the pedal is connected to the port 14. We select port number 14 in the tab Port on Start Marking. Select Tab Other. If in the process of operation, when pressing red, the red beam shows other image than a laser is engraving. It can be smaller, bigger, or off-center. Then enter red light pointer. Here, set up an offset. The offset of the red beam relative to the working beam. If we are engraving a square, do not offset it. Press Mark and Watch. The red beam is showing to the left right, higher, lower, bigger, or smaller. Then set up minus one or minus 0 0.1 or plus one. For the y-axis, plus means higher and minus means lower. 
If the red frame is smaller than the engraving layout, you should increase the scale. One to one is a complete match. Next, setting up the marker. Enter standard values of minus 50, 50, 50, and 100. To check what these parameters are for, you need to read the EasyCAD user manual. Press Advance. Here, enter 4,000, 200, and 400. You should write them this way. Click OK and press Apply to default. It is applied. Now, at any allocation, at any layer, the following parameters are chosen, 4,000, 200, and 400. The marker is set up and you can proceed to next tasks. Be extremely careful with the scanner. Avoid impacts or dropping the scanner. Do not forget to remove the protective cover from the lens and put it back on when you are finished. It is not uncommon for users to forget to remove the cover and then a laser beam can melt through the cover and smoke the lens. There have been cases when the lens could no longer be cleaned. Congratulations! You have successfully set up your marker and put it into operation. If you need to replace the F-theta lens, this can be easily done by unscrewing it from the scanner. Also, remove the mounting collar from the lens and install it on the new lens. Screw the lens and the collar back into the scanner. Contact our specialist. We will be glad to help you with choosing and setting up the equipment.